Yo, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple loading screen in your Roblox game. Also, if you guys want to see more tutorial videos on my channel, then make sure you like and subscribe and you can join my Roblox group with the link in the description. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the UI. So we could just go into our start UI, make a screen UI. We are going to name this loading screen. And then we're going to add a frame into here. This is going to be the size of the entire screen so we'll just set the size to one comma zero comma one two comma zero and then you can make this whatever color you want i'm just going to make it a a darker color or you can um make it whatever color you want i'm just going to make it this gray color and then we're going to rename this to fade and then we're going to duplicate this and then we're going to name it frame and then under frame we're going to add a progress bar so we'll just add another frame and name it bar and you can position this wherever you want, however you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to move this to like right here. Stretch it out a little bit. Shrink it. And right here looks good. And then we're going to add a white corner to this. Make it like a 0.2 radius or something. Uh, maybe more like a 0.4. And then I'm going to add another frame into here. This one needs to be named Bill. And then we can also duplicate this UI corner, put it in here. And then you can make this whatever color, color you want. I'm just gonna make it like a nice blue color, like this. And then for the size, we're just gonna go ahead, make it um, like a 0.3 or 0.2, and then comma zero, comma one, comma zero. So this will be the progress bar that fills up whenever it's loading. And then. That should be it for the progress bar. And then we're gonna go to here, add a text label. We'll name this assets. So this is going to be the assets that are, the amount of assets that are loaded currently. So we're just gonna put this right here. I'm gonna make the background transparency, transparency to one. I'm gonna go ahead and change the font to something like Fredoka or something. And then I'm going to make the text color white. And then I'm going to make the text scaled. So something like this for the assets. And then you could just add some, some text if you want. It'll be like assets. It'll be like assets loaded. Uh, like 184 by like 1028 or whatever. You can, it, this doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to change it whenever we are scripting it anyways. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and then rename this to percentage. So this is going to be the percent, the percent that we currently have loaded. I'm just going to put this down here, maybe make it the same size. And then I'm just going to like 40%, uh, just as a filler, just so we know how it looks. And then I'm going to duplicate this again to create the title. So the title will be up here. I'll make it bigger. And then I'll also change the font to like bangers or luckiest guy or something luckiest guy looks better in my opinion and then i'm going to change the the name of the text label to text label with a capital l also make sure everything is named the same so that it works in the script and then i'm just going to change the text to your game or something so this will be your game name okay and then what we can do is we could take this loading screen put it into replicated first and then we can go ahead and put a local script into here as well. Put the loading screen under the script and we'll call this script loading script. All right. So now in this script, we're going to get a couple things. We're going to get the local player, which is going to equal game dot players dot local player. We're going to get the tween service, which is going to equal game get service tween service. And then we're going to get the started UI so that we can put the the loading screen into our player. And then we're going to get the service starter UI. And then we're going to get content provider, which is going to equal game get service content provider. All right. And then we can go ahead and get our game name. So this will be the name of your game. Um, I'm just going to say your game. You can put whatever your game name is there. 
and then we can have a local function set up. So in this function, we're going to set up everything that we need to make this loading screen. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go script dot parent dot or colon remove default loading screen. So we're going to remove the default loading screen so that we can put our own loading screen in instead of the default one. And then we are going to wait for the game to load. So we're going to wait to repeat wait until game is loaded. So this is whenever the player can actually like see something. And then we're going to get the GUI, which is going to equal script, wait for child, loading screens. And then we are going to get loading assets, which is going to equal game, get descendants. And then we're going to go get local loaded, which is going to equal zero. So that is the number of assets that are loading. And then we are getting the descendants of the game so that we know um how many assets need to be loaded and stuff and then we're gonna get so we're gonna go ahead and disable the starter gui which is gonna equal enum dot core and gui type dot all and then we're gonna set them all to false so this is just gonna disable everything like the leaderboard menu well you know all that stuff so that it's not in the way of our loading screen and then what we're gonna do is in our gui we're gonna set the text label of it to our game name or your game name and then we're going to set the parent of it to player dot player gui and then we're just going to loop through all the assets in the game so all the assets in loading assets we're going to get content provider reload async and then we're going to create a table and just put in the asset here this does not need to be plural right here in the loop it could just be asset so we're gonna preload the the asset right there so that we can see how many items have been loaded so we're gonna go ahead and increase the loaded uh, uh, number and then we're going to change the size of our loading bar so that it represents how much is actually loaded so we're gonna do that with math.max loaded divided by the number of loading assets so the number of assets that need to be loaded and then we're going to go comma 0.1 and then we're going to change the percentage text so gui dot frame dot percentage dot text is going to equal math dot floor x size times 100 plus 0.5 and then we're going to add on a percent sign to that and then we're going to go ahead and create a tween to change the size of the loading bar so that so that it's smooth basically so we'll go gui dot, dot frame bar dot fill and then we're going to go between info between info dot new 0.2 so that's the amount of time it'll take and then we're going to make a new table of properties so size is going to equal udim2 udim2 dot new we're going to pass in the size the x size and then we're going to put everything else zero comma one comma zero and then we're gonna play this tween. So that'll basically run until everything is loaded. So after that, we're just gonna go ahead and wait one second before we actually close the menu, just so that, you know, the player sees that the game's loaded. And then we're gonna make a fade out tween, which is gonna equal tween service, create. Uh, we're gonna do the GUI.fade. And then tween info dot new and then we're gonna this is gonna be the time that's gonna take so i'm just gonna put 0.5 here and then we're gonna go ahead and change the background transparency of it so we'll just put that right here in the table and we're gonna set that equal to zero and then we're going to go ahead and play this as well 
So the reason we are going, the reason that we have this fade right here is so that instead of changing the transparency of everything here, so like the bar, the, all the text and stuff, we just have an overlay of the fade of the background basically. So this is basically just the background overlaid on top of everything. We're just going to fade that in so that it still appears like everything's being faded out, but it's a lot easier this way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this tween to finish. So fade out tween dot completed. Connect. Function. This doesn't pass anything in. And then we're just going to go ahead and get the sort of GUI. And we're going to rename, re-enable all of the GUI. So this is basically the thing that we did earlier. We're going to set core GUI enabled. Enum dot core GUI type dot all. And then we're going to go true. So we're re-enabling all of the GUI. And then we're going to go ahead and destroy the frame. So this is like all of the text and stuff. We're going to destroy this so that it looks like it fades out. And then, and then we need to fade out the fade screen still. So since the fade screen is still visible, we want to fade that out so that it just doesn't like pop off the screen or whatever. So we'll go, go ahead and make another fade out tween. I'm going to call it fade out tween two. We're trying to basically, we could basically just copy this over and set the background transparency over here to one instead of zero. And then in here, we're going to go ahead and play this. And then we're going to wait for it to complete again, like the first one. So we'll go fit out to dot completed. Go and connect function. And then in here, this is where we actually want to destroy the GUI so that it's no longer on the player screen. What I do need to add at the bottom here is so that we actually call the function because none of this is, will be run unless if we call this. So now it should work. As you can see, the top is still being shown, which we don't want that. So the easy way to fix that is an appearance on the loading screen. We just go to screen insets and set that to device safe insets, and it should get rid of the top bar being transparent. So now if we hit play, then it will not be clear anymore. And then you can see the loading screen. And there you go. You have a loading screen in your game now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. And, um, if you don't mind, you could subscribe to the channel, it's free. And if you would like to, you can join my Roblox group, it will be linked down in the description. I do have two games in there if you want to try them out, you know, tell me what you think. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.